This is the molecule that has these antifeedant properties. It's called azadiractin. Getting to this stage has taken decades of research, and no one's made it yet, but they're trying. At the University of Cambridge, Professor Steve Lay and his research group are trying to make the molecule in the laboratory. The tree makes it easily enough, but it is more of a problem to synthesize it yourself. We're making the molecule in two halves, and if I tell you the most difficult part has been uh, one half of this molecule that's required us to use 36 linear steps to make it. Uh, this is really quite a difficult task to work out. Every one of those is new. Every step in this pathway, of course, creates new materials that have never before been seen on the planet. So this is real research at its front end, and it's very complicated to achieve. They've nearly reached the final stage when the two halves of the molecule will be linked up. Their synthetic linking mechanism will be the culmination of nearly 10 years' work since the discovery of the structure. And by the sound of it, it's going to be a winner. You would require probably just a tablespoonful to cover an area like two uh, soccer pitches. So we really have a very effective compound. It's active down at parts per billion level. And this really is, is, very, is equivalent to eat the, most, the best of the modern pesticides. So we have something here which I think is, is, is tremendously exciting. But why should you want to synthesize it when you can literally pull it off the tree? Another approach is to concentrate on the natural product. Use the neem as your starting point. At the Indian National Chemical Laboratory, they've been working on methods to extract azadiractin from the neem tree using cheap, readily available solvents. We came to the conclusion that neem seeds are the best source for insecticidal properties. We can get plenty of neem seeds from uh, neem trees in our country. So we thought that that would be the ideal thing. So this is how we got started with neem seeds only. Our technology, our raw material is neem seeds. They've developed a marketable product which they call neem rich. Azadiractin has been concentrated from a widely available local resource and they don't have to try and make it from scratch. Synthesizing such a molecule is a commendable job, but commercially it cannot be viable because it involves a number of steps involving lots of money. Whereas naturally it's available in plenty, one can use it very easily. For India, there's no point in synthesizing it. A simple extraction process makes sense. Let the tree do the work. But the neem tree isn't available in the West, so if we want it, we have to synthesize it. And there's another reason for going to all the effort. The potency is so high that there's an exciting opportunity that we could make small synthetic mimics of the natural product. Smaller molecules that may be not quite as active, but do the same job. And I think that, too, will involve us as chemists to make these small molecules. It's a long, drawn-out process. It could well be that this will be a fully grown tree before one of those molecules is available to farmers. But surely, all of this work is worthwhile if, in the end, it helps people survive. Mm -hmm.